Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to pull up Autodesk Inventor. And the first thing we're going to do is go to New. And we're going to click on Standard IPT. And click Open. This is the screen you'll come to. Uh, it's a blue grid. So if I go to Rectangle, I'm going to click one time and pull out a square or rectangle and click one more time. Right mouse done. Now if I can go to dimension or either hit D on the computer uh, on the keyboard. Now I want this one to be let's see what size is that? Okay, we're going with the horizontal direction, and that's going to be 10 and an eighth, so that would be 10.125, enter. Now the height or the vertical direction, if I click off that direction, as long as it's blue, eight and three sixteenths. So that would be 8.1875 and enter. Now all I have to do is hit home on the keyboard, right mouse done, right mouse finish sketch. Now if I hit F6 on my function keys, it throws in an isometric view. If I click extrude, notice the direction if I click here, it throws everything back that direction. So now my dimensions are on the front of my part. Doesn't really make any difference to what we're doing now, but uh, in the future for Mastercam, when we get to Mastercam, you probably won't do that. I click OK. Now we have a solid model, and we need to save this. So if I click the little drop down arrow and click Save As, I'm going to name it. Box 2. Since I already had a one called Box. Notice I'm saving it in my desktop. If I click Save. Now, in this area at the very top, it, it tells me what the name of the part is. It's Box2.ipt. Now, if I go to my drop down again and click on New, this time I'm going to go with the ANSI, which is inches, and dot IDW, and click OK. Now, this looks like a, a blueprint. It has the title block with the border all the way around it. So if I go to Base, and notice the file that I have up here, uh, I want to make sure that I'm importing the right one. It's called box2.ipt. That's the correct one. Also, the scale has to be one-to-one. -one. So I bring it in anywhere and click one time. Now I have it on to the screen. So if I click my drop down arrow again and I go to to save as, but I don't click it yet, and I just slide over into this category, I want to go to save copy as. Now I have different types of, of um, files that I can save it as. Right now I'm under inventor drawing. If I click the little drop down, I want to save it as a DXF file. Now, I'm also saving that to the desktop. So it's the name of it is box2.dxf. Click Save. And for right now, I'm just going to minimize it in case if I have to come back to it. And we're going to open up Plasma Cam. Nothing is imported in yet. We have a black screen. If I go to File, I'm going to have to import this. And it's already coming in as AutoCAD, but if it were not, then I would have to click the little drop down arrow and find AutoCAD DXF files. Now I can just scroll down until I get to the name of the file, which is called Box2, and click Open. 
now everything's here everything's green everything's active if I hit the delete button right now it all goes away so if I click one time out in the middle of the screen everything's white now so I'm gonna start putting borders around things that I don't want and I can hit the delete button I hit F5, grab, turn everything green, and if I hit M for move, let's bring it out to the center. And if I hit F4, everything's on the screen. Notice I still have a couple things here. So if I click those, turn them green, they go away. Now I'm going to put a border, up, put a border all the way around the whole thing. And if I hit K. K link segments and now it's purple. If I go back to F4 again that brings everything into uh, into view on the screen. F5 is the actual size and now I can take this and I can uh, either send it to a laser or the plasma machine and that took six minutes.